Hello, all you lovely people, you lovely computer people, and welcome back to another episode of Lost in the Farmer's Market, where today we're looking at this specimen here. Now, what is this, you ask? Well, its scientific name is Confiria galanga. Its, sci its common name is aromatic ginger. It is in the Zingiberaceae family, which means it is a true ginger, and it is edible, so therefore it is one of the table gingers, so to speak. I already covered regular ginger, but we are about to go on a trip because I've got some ginger stuff coming up in content that'll blow your mind up. But let's let's start with let's keep it to this one. So the name Kimferia comes from Engelbert Kimfer. Kimfer. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he was a naturalist and traveler. And uh, with a name like Engelbert, you'd better be some kind of traveler or something. Engelbert's quite proper, lovely. Anyway. The name Galangal, Galangal, I'm, again, not entirely sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's spelled G-A-L-A-N-G-A-L, Galangal. The Galangal. Anyway, it comes from Chinese Gaoling and the word Jiang, which I'm mispronouncing certainly, which basically means ginger, because it is. Now, it's native to Indonesia, Taiwan, Cambodia, India, and South China. It is classified as a tender perennial, I'm not entirely certain on the USDA zones, but I'm imagining probably 6 through 8. But don't quote me on that. Its soil pH appears to be 6.1 through 7.8, and that's an estimation. Though the sources are not the sources I consulted are not 100% clear, so that's just the nature of the game. Um, it is estimated that it will take partial to light shade, even though I've had it out on the grow racks, and it seems to be doing okay with afternoon shade from the hottest part of the sun. But I didn't get this plant until late August, if not September, so I didn't grow it the whole year, so I'm not 100% sure it can take laser summer sun. We'll find out next year, I guess. Its height can be 6 to 12 inches per plant, and its width is not quite clear, but I'm going to presume it's about the same. I mean, the specimen plant seems to be doing that. Now, when I got this thing, it was pot-bound, and now it's in a much larger pot. And, and in case you're wondering, no, this was not sold to me by Garden Debut. Oh, and there's a mischief. Mischief. I told you he'd be in there somewhere. Now, it's also known as Kenkar, Sand Ginger, Cut Cherry, and Flowering Ginger. I mean, technically all gingers flower, so that's not really saying much. Um, mischief, what are you doing? All right, don't eat my specimen. Don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway. So, it is one of four plants called Gallon Gal. It is a cooking spice, a very well-regarded cooking spice, so you know it's safe. It is sometimes called lesser galangal, and extracts of this plant can kill mosquito larvae, which is really impressive because mosquitoes are a real SOB. Am I right, folks? Out here in Carolina in the Mosquito Coast? Yes. Now, as a plant, the leaves are very aromatic. I've torn one by accident in handling it, and it was very gingery. It's quite pleasant, actually. And even if it doesn't really produce much in the way of rhizomes, which I don't think is what the part you eat this for, you can eat the leaves, I believe, it's still a cool-looking plant. In your garden, it's a potted alternative to hostas. Because, I mean, the leaves are very similar, though not variegated. It's a straight green plant, and it, can, and it would prefer partial shade, I presume. So there's that. The soil doesn't have to be anything special. Um, I've got just plain old potting soil in there. And uh, when I got it, it was pot bound to the point of distorting the shape of its square pot. Its square pot was sort of like a rhomboid when I got it. Because its roots, you know, ginger roots will push against the pot and keep pushing until the pot breaks. Because the pot will lose that battle. It always does. Ginger is no joke in the roots department. That creeping rhizome is some serious stuff. So, there's that. Now... Why do you want it? Well, for one, it's an exotic cooking spice. And if you can grow them and not have to ship it in, why the heck not? Two, the nectar from when it blooms, usually in the ginger family, can be used as a shampoo. And even if not, it smells wonderful and you can use it to scent things. So there's that, too. I believe there's a way to use it in, as, as an additive to laundry detergent to add that gingery fresh smell. So there's that as well. But it's also an easy plant that requires some fertilizer, some moisture, but is largely carefree. And let's be honest, 
who doesn't want carefree plants? Hmm? Yeah. So that's that. So this is aromatic ginger in a nutshell, uh, a, er a herb and a scent plant that, that you should have. Now, if you have any thoughts about this plant, please put them in the comments section. If you've grown this, if you know some tips and tricks you'd like to share with the other folks here or inform me of, I'd love to hear about it, and I'm sure they would too. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel grow. We're trying to get a whole garden thing going here. Um, hit the like button if you like this video. The Forge blog, which is linked in the description, will ha has been updating, so you'll enjoy that. And as always, folks... Keep them growing. Thanks for watching.